folks, Scott Seger with you here, RTC TV4. Well, it's political season, and you know that means more interviews right here on RTC TV4. Today we've got a special guest. We've got Sheena Bitterling, Bitterling, Bitterling yes. here today. And Sheena is going to be running for the uh, one of the slots in county council here. So uh, we wanted to bring Sheena in and talk to her a little bit today. Welcome. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. It's our pleasure. Your first time here, right? It is, definitely. Okay, very good. So Sheena Bitterling. You're running on which ticket? The Democrat or Republican? I'm running on the Democrat ticket. Democratic ticket, and you're running for city council. County council. County council, I apologize. Yes. County council. And which district, which zone, which... It's District 1. District 1. Which includes the townships of Abenabi, Union, Wayne, and Liberty. Boy, she had that memorized. She knows her, <laughs> she knows her township better than I do. Well, great. Well, um, you know, is this your first time to run for politics, Sheena? It is, yes. Okay. And uh, a little nerve-wracking at first? Yeah. It's it's a little difficult to get out and meet people that yeah. you have you've ne you know never met in high I'm so and so right right yeah you really put yourself out there during yes. this process don't you definitely but people have been really great yeah. it's and it's been a lot of fun yeah well that's very neat so county council they're doing yes. a lot of things we've seen county council in the news quite a bit over the past twelve months we have yeah between the jail the wind farms and you know their normal every month activity uh, there's a lot happening there at the county council so. You've thrown your hat into the ring. Anything kind of spur that on? I, I started getting involved um, in politics in 2017. Uh, my kids, I have three kids, okay. and um, they're kind of getting to where they're starting to do more of their own mm -hmm. things. They're old enough, mm -hmm. so um, I wanted to get more involved in, in my community. And uh, I happened upon politics, and then... The county council seat opened up when Jim Mid Jim Widman yeah. announced that he would not yeah. be running again, and um, I've been attending all of the county council meetings. I've missed right. one this year. Taking copious notes. As Absolutely you go along. yes. yes. Um, meeting a lot of people um, in the local government mm -hmm. and then citizens as well. And um, I. I just, you know, would like to get involved and Absolutely. help in the ways that I can. Well, I appreciate her involvement. And, and folks, you know, you don't even have to be running for office. You can go to these meetings and pay attention and see what's happening. Absolutely. I'm a little bit out of the mix anymore as we've evolved and grown as, as RTC. But, of course, I attended city council meetings, school board meetings, county council meetings. I was doing those for months. I was probably the most well-informed person in Fulton County. Yes. <laughs> but um, And the I, more you go, the yeah. more you realize you didn't know things that oh, you didn't realize you right? didn't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of behind the scenes of what makes a county go. Absolutely. And uh, it's great that you're wanting to put your hat or your, throw your hat into that ring and get involved. What, uh, what have you done with your life? What are some of the skills that you're bringing forward that you're going to be able to say, hey, I bring not only being a mother, which gives you that wide perspective, but yes. what other things in your life of, are kind of bringing you forward to this? Um, well, starting in high school, uh -huh. and, and before that I uh, was a 10-year member of 4-H. Excellent. Um, I'm a lifelong resident of Fulton County, okay. uh, graduate of Rochester High School. Excellent. I was fortunate enough to get the Lilly Scholarship. Excellent. I went to Manchester College. Uh -huh. And uh, came now back. Now Manchester University. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I came back home. Mm -hmm. I worked uh, with Cardinal Services, okay. which is um, an organization that assists the developmentally yes. disabled. Yes. And um, for a while before, I went to my family's dairy farm okay. and uh, was their herd manager okay. until um, the operation uh shut down because of milk prices yeah milk prices yeah you know, been yeah. affecting a lot of people in this county and and uh, you know it's not a whole lot you can do about that on no. the county council but uh no yeah. not at all but the milk industry in general wow yes really hurt us lately it did mm -hmm. um but as herd manager mm -hmm. um i made a, i mean obviously the decisions for the herd mm -hmm. and you know evaluated okay this is what we're looking at and this is what we need to That's do great. these are the goals that we need to set up yeah and um Financially, what can we afford to do? What's sure. feasible for us? A lot of establishing skills. protocol, absolutely. A lot of skills required to be a herd manager. Yes. So you know, not only the dealing with live animals yes. issues, but you've got um, volumes that you have to worry about. You have to worry about the other end, which is the milk price. I mean, there's a, a lot, lot of to numbers. That. Yeah. A yeah. lot of very serious management happening there. Absolutely. So some serious skills. Now, uh, the family has a farm. Yes. And where's the farm? Here yes. in Fulton County, right? Yeah, uh, and Richland Center. Okay, very good. Was now, J.J. Richard Dairy Farm. Okay, very good. <laughs> now, when we talk about um, the herd, how big of a herd are we talking? 
We were, um, originally we were between 150 and 180. Okay. So I'll keep you busy milking every Absolutely. day. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you know, I grew up doing it. Yeah. So it was, old it was just, you, exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> very neat. Well, it's neat to see how you've evolved. And you went to Manchester. What did you study while you were over there? Uh, religion and sociology. No kidding. Yes. So you came out uh, enlightened, if you will, right? Yes. Okay. And my favorite thing uh -huh. about that was uh, the, the critical thinking. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely loved that. Um, I had a professor that said his, his goal with all of his students mm -hmm. was to give everyone the ability to determine when they heard something. Uh-huh. Okay, is this true or is it not? Yeah. And then, and not, and then, okay, I can evaluate it from there. I love it. But, and it was absolutely fantastic. Boy, that comes right into play in just about uh, everything yes. in politics, doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Critical thinking, very important. It yes. may be lacking in some of our net politics across yes. the board, but I'm not yes. casting any stuff. <laughs> You know, here on RTC TV4, we really sincerely appreciate everybody who comes in here. And this is an opportunity that we give to each of the candidates to let you know who they are. You get to see the face. There's nothing worse than going in and uh, voting day and looking at names on a ballot and knowing how important it is that you're casting that vote, but not knowing anything about that candidate. We're doing our little part here at RTC. We're trying to bring these folks in here, especially the local folks that you may not have met personally. This is my first time meeting Sheena, and yes. you know how many people I interview. So there are a lot of great people in this county doing wonderful things, Sheena being one of them here. I want to thank you very much for throwing your hat into the ring. It's not an easy thing to put yourself out there, go knocking door to door, introducing yourself to folks, saying, hey, I would like to represent you in an official capacity. Um, so I have a ton of respect for that. Uh, all the candidates you're going to see here sitting with me this year, just know that it takes a lot to put yourself out there, and you're going to have a lot of very qualified candidates. So I'm going to thank you so much. We do. Thank yeah. you very much. And I have gotten to know yeah. a lot of the people sure that have. are on the ticket, and they're, I mean, fantastic. Yeah. I've met their families. Yeah. I, I mean, I know their kids. Yeah. And it, just really wonderful. We have a lot of great people on the ballot this year yeah. on both the Democratic and Republican tickets. Yeah. And thank you so very much for oh, having me. It's our pleasure. It really is. Anything else you want to tell our, our viewers out there? This is your opportunity to, to say hi. You, you've got some kids. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Rochester now? I, I live in Abenabi Township. Abenabi, okay. Yes, and I'm right down, uh, two houses down from Cider's Blueberry Patch. Okay. <laughs> so you can sneak some blueberries. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes, and I am a mother of three. I have, I'm married to Clay uh -huh. um, my daughter, is, our, our daughter, Evelyn, is 10, Emmett is 5, and Solomon is 4. My goodness. Yes. Some good ages. I've got teenagers now, so you've got some good ages yes. there, before the teenage years. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, again, uh, Sheena Bitterling here today. I want to uh, invite everybody to learn more about Sheena and all the candidates. Of course, you can watch this over and over again on the website, rtc4.com. And uh, hopefully you feel a little more educated and you've become a little more familiar with Sheena here today. So, Sheena, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. All right. We'll see you next time right here on RTC TV4. Hey.